At Saturday's event, it was announced that the city's lead safe housing program is expanding from zip code 48209 to zip codes 48210 and zip code 48217 as well. An expansion that could likely save hundreds of children. Who lives in 48209, 48210 or 48217? in a packed room filled with great enthusiasm. We actually received a lot more outpour, or outreach than we um, anticipated. There's a lot of people here, so we have a full house. Southwest Detroit homeowners were able to sign up for free lead paint removal on Saturday. We're going to go into 240 homes uh, that have children under the age of six, uh, and we are going to completely remove the lead uh, so those houses are safe forever. Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan spoke at the event, put together by the City of Detroit's Housing and Revitalization Department's Detroit Lead Safe Housing Program, as well as Urban Neighborhood Initiatives and Brilliant Detroit. He said that zip codes 48210 and 48217 were chosen for the expansion based on information from local hospitals, who report to them where most of their cases of young children with lead poisoning are coming from. When children came in with behavior or learning issues, Many times we found elevated lead levels in the blood. According to the CDC, lead exposure occurs when a child comes in contact with lead by touching, swallowing, or by breathing in lead or lead dust. Exposure can lead to serious brain and nervous system damage, slowed growth and development, as well as hearing and speech problems. Lead-based paint was widely used in construction until its ban in 1978. In Detroit, kids have higher lead poisoning rates than the rest of the state, primarily because of contact with lead through the city's old homes. Too often we find it, and almost in every case we go into the home, it's peeling lead paint in the walls or the windows. Uh, and that's what we've got to address. Families who live in these zip codes with children under the age of six or pregnant women are eligible for this free program. According to the City of Detroit website, the number of children with elevated blood levels in Detroit has decreased about half since 2009. The decline is likely due to the removal of blighted homes through demolition and life saving initiatives like Saturdays. They're getting signed up today. Uh, we will be out this year, but we're going to complete 240 homes uh, by the end of next year, and we will just go house by house right through the neighborhoods. Reporting in Detroit, I'm Sarah Grummer for 7 Action News.